You're watching the station that works for you. Good morning, Maryland at 9. Thanks for joining us on this Friday morning. Baltimore Magazine, their latest issue is out, and it is packed. It's got a really cool cover, too. From the best public and private schools to fall fashion to what it feels like to be a raven. And everybody wants to know that. Evan Serpik from the magazines here. Thanks so much for coming in. Sure, no problem. All right, so the school issue. What is this all about? Because you guys not only do the private schools, but the public schools as well. Yeah, we really tried to sort of pick out both from... Uh, public schools focus on the city and the county and then private schools from all over the region. Sort of what are the programs out there that are doing really innovative, interesting programs and sort of doing like little profiles to help parents choose because really there's more choices now than ever. I mean, both in public schools where there's all kinds of new magnet and charter schools and things that focus on everything from technology to the arts. And of course, private schools have a million different sort of, um, you know, philosophies and ways that they teach. So parents can be a little overwhelmed, I think. And so sure. this was a really get, getting an idea of what kinds of schools are good for what kind of students. Was there one thing that you found... I I didn't know this about this school, or this school's doing something really interesting or groundbreaking. I was kind of blown away by a lot of them, actually. I mean, especially some of the, the public schools. I mean, I think, you know, the city public schools get kind of a bad rap, but yeah. you go to schools like, you know, Poly, who has an um, aerodynamics lab where kids are doing flight simulators, or you go to, like, um, you know, the Digital Harbor School downtown where they, they're learning programming and all these advanced computer languages that I've never heard of, and, you know, network fiber optics and things that you're like, this is high school. I mean, when I went to high school, we were lucky to get algebra, you know? Right. Yeah, so it's very different. It's funny, too. When I moved to Baltimore, everybody said, you know, where, when people ask you where you go to school, they don't mean college, they mean high school. Absolutely. So there's a lot of pride, I think, attached to something like this. It is, and I think it's changing. I, mean, I think when I was growing up, you know, where you went to high school was, well, what's the closest school? That sort of, like, you sure. know, identified you as where you were from and what your neighborhood was. Now parents are having a lot more to think about in terms of where they go to high school, because they really can choose. And it makes a, you know, a big difference in the kind of, I think kids are asked to, sort of determine a little earlier what kind of things they want to study, um, which it used to be not until college as you really asked that. So it's sure. changing a little, yeah. Now what about this article, What It Feels Like to Be a Raven? This is a great story. Mike Unger wrote that. He, he really had a lot of time with all the ravens, and he wrote these, uh, he interviewed them all and sort of asked Terrell Suggs what it feels like to to, to sack someone who describes like, what's going on in his head as he's sort of getting close to the quarterback and Joe Flacco asked he asked him what it's like to be sacked and what's going through his head and asked one of the most interesting ones I thought was to talk to John Harbaugh about what it's like to make that really hard call like fourth and short you know you're in that mind yeah. frame what's going through your head how do you make the decision really fascinating stuff it's a really cool story is there one story that sticks out in your mind of those the yeah. John Harbaugh one is great because that's kind of something you wonder like and he what he said is really interesting he's like you know he sort of knows before the previous play like if this happens if they get to less than half a yard, we're going to do it. And so it's almost like an automatic decision when it gets there, which is interesting. So anyway, that's a really fascinating stuff. It is, because so often I think when we hear questions asked to players or, or coaches, it's about the game, but this right. is more personal. The moments, exactly. And, and even there's about, you know, um, stuff like what it, they asked, you know, what it was like to win uh, a franchise, what it's like for... Um, for uh, sort of to run out of the tunnel, you know, before the game, you know, all kinds of like big personal questions. What's like to face an injury? All kinds of stuff. Good stuff. All right. The, the other thing that I was intrigued about, just looking at this, uh, ladies who lunch. If Lady Gaga and Martha Stewart right. think about combining the two, so this is sort of elegance with an edge. Exactly. I think it's sort of like, and um, it's a really beautiful spread. Dave Caldwell, photographer, did a great job, and uh, it's sort of combining, you know, a lot of. You know, Cultural influence is now like Mad Men. It's sort of this classic elegance, but combined with this very edgy, sort of like Lady Gaga, and sort of you know these things are sort of combining. I think for a certain, you know, society of these, you know, the sort of classic ladies who lunch. Well, that's now a much more forward-thinking kind of sure. set, and so this is kind of kind of capture that. I think they did a great job. Yeah. Great. So we've got fall fashion schools play like a raven. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right, pick it up because you can find it now. It's on stands. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Evan, thanks so much for coming in. It's always good stuff. Sure. Thank you. All right, Linda.